Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add and delete columns and rows as needed. In 2003, XP or 2000, to delete either a column or a row, first select the column or row which you would like to delete. Then select Table from the menu bar, roll down to Delete, and choose Columns or Rows as appropriate. Notice you could also delete cells or the table entirely. In 97, to delete an entire column or row, you would first select the column or row, then choose Table from the menu bar, and choose Delete Cells, or if you had an entire column selected, be delete columns, or if you had an entire row selected, it would be delete rows. So you had to make sure you had your selection appropriately made first, and then just choose the appropriate command from the table drop-down. Now in 2003, XP or 2000, to insert a column or a row, select the column or the row next to where you want the new column or row to go. And it doesn't matter which side in particular. Then choose Table and choose the Insert command from the menu bar. And from the side menu that appears, you can either select columns to the left or columns to the right, rows above or rows below. And that's uh, in relation to where your insertion point is in the table currently. So I'm going to choose columns to the right to add a new column to the right of my table. Now in 97, you simply select the column to the right of where you want to insert the column. Or you can choose the row that is below where you'd want to insert the new row. Then after that was performed, you would choose Table, and then choose Insert Columns or Insert Rows as needed. New columns always went to the left of the selection, and new rows always went above the current selection. and then you would just fill in your data as needed into the table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.